Hi guys and welcome to your Twin Flame Tarot Love Messages here. Um, as always, these messages are general, but you already know that. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead and give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in um, regarding your connection with your DM. So these are messages from, from the Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine. Okay, what is it that you might need to know about your DM here? Um, or what messages are you being guided to regarding your twin flame connection? Six of Swords here. The Devil. The Moon card here. Seven of Swords. Okay. Um, first and foremost, it's important for you to know that it doesn't matter what you say, they'll always keep coming back to you. Okay, there's a very strong um, gravitational pull that your Divine Masculine has towards you and the two of you have towards one another. It's very magnetic. Okay, notice the way that the chains, notice how Adam and Eve are being chained to each other. I don't know about you all, but those chains appear as though they hang rather loosely, loosely, which is an indication here um, of their, like their self-voluntary here. Okay, they cha they chain they are chained to each other, but it's self-voluntary. It's a self-voluntary act. Therefore, you know that the two of you are probably no good for one another, okay, because of the devil's energy here. You know that maybe the two of you are quite toxic for one another, or you know that there is something, there's a toxic element that the divine has, your divine masculine has around them, and this is something that they cannot walk away from, okay? But at the same time, you cannot walk away from them, they cannot walk away from you, the two of you cannot walk, walk away from this toxicity, um, that you have going on here, okay? Or you can't walk away from this um, addictive kind of obsessive, addictive, intoxicating kind of energy here. The two of you are very drawn to each other. It's almost like you intoxicate each other with your passion, with your lust, with your infatuation here. Um, with the moon card here, I'm also the moon and the devil here tells me that there's a lot of fears or anxieties, um, a lot of like a dark energy here that's coming around your um, a dark energy that's coming up around your twin flame connection. The moon's energy here, okay, is inviting you to illuminate the darkness here, um, the darkest of the unknowns here, okay, is inviting you to illuminate the darkness around this connection. So. Any anxieties, any fears, any addictions, uncertainties that the two of you have around this connection, you need to question this, okay? Because some of you, I feel like, um, are going further. You're, you're going deeper into this rabbit hole, and who knows how deep this rabbit hole goes. Um, I'm also seeing that perhaps the two of you, though you're quite chained to one another you're also quite out of sync with one another okay um the six of swords tells me that there's a need for you to either release your dm's energy here purely because they hold you back okay they're holding you back from potentially um exploring love or potentially ex you know inviting new love into your life because i see that there is um a twin flame connections are very powerful and they're very intense and they can be very um they can be very um, powerful. I think I said that already. Um, however, twin flames are not, a lot of the time, a twin flame connection is not who you typically end up with. Okay, they come into our lives. Um, and sometimes, you know, they 
they ruffle our feathers a little bit they um, put us outside of our comfort zone they teach us things they help us grow they help us evolve they help us shift they illuminate sometimes our deepest and darkest desires fears and secrets here um, your twin flame here your divine masculine has played as an absolute important role in your life but and this is for you to decide okay because you're the expert in your own connection not not necessarily the tarot cards here the tarot cards are only here to guide you it's up to you to decide whether this energy is because i always say this but the devil is a very draining kind of energy because the baphomet possesses the wings of a bat and the bat is a creature that sucks the lifeblood out of you so if this connection is taking away from you is taking away from your health your happiness your um you know your expectations if this connection is doing more taking than giving then it's up to you to decide whether this is something that you want to continue to pursuing because i'm seeing either the six of swords and the devil card tells me that you need to leave your dm behind here okay maybe maybe it's only a temporary fix okay maybe the two of you need to give each other some time and some space to because i'm seeing someone needs to have a light bulb moment here okay so maybe your dm you know they say if someone doesn't appreciate the presence perhaps you know they'll um learn to appreciate it during your absence here is that what they say i think that's what they say um so that's why i feel like some of you you need to either pull away even if temporarily because that's going to it's going to give you a lot of insight and a lot of perspective into this connection and also i feel like it'll set off a light bulb moment from your for your dm um for others of you i feel like maybe you need to walk away from your dm here um and don't look back okay because it's all about releasing emotional um baggage because there's something quite something quite dark or heavy about this energy it could be like um it could be abuse you could speak of mental physical emotional abuse it could be like um you know control here um it could be like a very like a fearful in, like entrapped kind of energy whatever it is it's a very heavy energy and i can see that it's very draining on you okay it's taking a lot away from you and what you could potentially have with the seven of swords there's a lot of things that i feel like you're not really you're not you're glossing over i feel like there's a lot of red flag indicators about this connection but you're hoping to maybe you're hoping to like you're overlooking them or you're glossing over them the seven of swords is a, quite a um deceptive kind of energy it can signal to us that your dm he may not be entirely honest with you your dm he may have a tendency because the moon here is about illusions as well your dm he could have a tendency to uh, tell lies or they may have hurt you or you know betrayed you in the past and broken your trust he um it could also be that you're the one that's lying to yourself though okay you're the one that's you're the deceptive energy and you're the one that's lying to yourself because you keep thinking that things are going to change and yet things you know you're stuck in the cycle of routine you're you're, you're stagnated the energy here you know there's a stalemate around the energy but you keep holding on to a false hope you know you keep um and whilst it's great to remain positive however um your intuitive feelings i feel like your intuition here is it's almost like it's trying to forewarn you of something but you keep maybe you keep deceiving yourself and you're trying to you're trying to tell yourself that things are get, going to get better when intuitively you know that they're staying the same or perhaps even worsening here so you could be it may not even be your dm that's being deceptive maybe you're in denial of your feelings maybe you're deceiving yourself here okay all right guys and these are the messages i have for you i want to thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel sharing like and commenting i'll be sharing with you more tarot love messages so stay tuned bye for now